Hello, I'm Mrs. Timmons and I'm going to show you how to cite an interview in Noodle Tools. It's very easy. There are not very many fields to fill out, especially if you interview someone in person. So we'll pick a new source and again, we're going to say that we interviewed someone in person. So we're going to pick viewed, heard live for the first choice. And then down here, we're going to select interview. There is very, very little stuff to fill out. Um, you can say how you conducted the interview. So if it was over email, if it was on the telephone, or if you used a service like Skype or something like that, it was online FaceTime. I'm going to go ahead and say that I conducted a telephone interview. And um, the roles are just two. There's the interviewer or ERS or the interviewee. So the interviewee is the person that you talk to. So I am going to say that I spoke to Mrs. Croker, and then I'm going to enter my name as the interviewer. Now the interesting thing about this box right here that says I conducted this interview, if you click it, it actually will hide your name. Your name will not show up in the citation because you were the one who conducted it. I'm going to go ahead and click this just to let you know what it's going to look like. But you can see even though I entered my name here, when I click this button, it's going to hide that. There is only one other field to fill out, and that is the date that you conducted your interview. There is nothing that you need to enter about the location, um, where you physically were, where the person was, if it was in, uh, in person or by email. So that's all I'm going to do when I save that. You can see what it looks like. It's very simple. And again, notice that my name is not in there because I clicked the button that I conducted the interview. And because I clicked the button to say that it was a telephone interview, that is in there. Some other choices, if I had clicked a video conference interview, again, that's Skype or FaceTime, and I had not selected that button that said that I conducted it, then notice it says specifically it was a video conference interview and there is my name. And then this is just an interview that was in person, was not email or anything like el anything else like that. And again, I did not pick the button here that said that I conducted it myself. So it is including my name in the citation. So if you interviewed someone live, um, any of those ways, that is all you have to do. You're done. Uh, if you are using an interview that came from another source, such as a video, a journal, or a book, you basically do what we just did. You put in the interview er name and the interviewee name and the date conducted and then you will do the rest of this citation as you normally would for that type of source. So for example here we have an interview online, it has the URL and it is a video. So notice when I go in and look at that citation it's got more information because I have to in addition to the interviewee name and interviewer I have to say the name of the clip and the video um, the website that I got the clip from. So again, like any video citation, I have to add that information to the interview information. Similarly, if uh, the interview was in a book, here I have a chapter of a book and I have cited an interview as the chapter or section. So up here, where we normally might say it was a, just a chapter or it was a map or, for example, a work of art. Interview is one of the things you can choose. And so if you choose that, again, you get the ability to put in, in this particular interview, there were two people being interviewed at once, um, Layla Ali, uh, the boxer, and her husband, um, Curtis Conway. So we have both of their names in there and the name of the interviewer. And it was a chapter in a book. So we have the sort of chapter title, the pages in the book, and then we have all of the regular book citation information. So you'll notice the way that that was formatted was to have both of the people interviewed listed together and then the rest of the book information. And again, it has that the interview was conducted by. And it works just the same if your interview is in a journal article. You're going to basically do a normal journal article citation with the volume number, the journal title number, the issue number, the date, and then you're adding in the fields for an interviewer and an interviewee. And again, you can just select this drop down and say that you are citing specifically an interview in a journal. We've got our database JSTOR URL. And there are the interviewer and interviewee names. 
Thank you for listening. I hope this helps you.